Hey everybody, welcome to Life in the Sweet Spot. I am so proud of you and the steps that you're taking to draw closer to the Lord. And I believe that this group is going to help you to do exactly that. I want to remind you of a couple of things as we get started. Number one, you're going to get out of this what you put into it. It's no one else's responsibility to receive something from the Lord. It's yours. And I believe if you make the effort to apply yourself to these principles, God's going to meet you and your life's going to change. It's going to change for the better. You're going to find the sweet spot. I want to remind you of a couple of things as well. Uh, be respectful of the group. Be respectful of the time of your hosts. Notice that uh, there is a start time and an end time. That means uh, do your best to get there on time. Do your best to be respectful of the fact that other people have opened up their home to you and that uh, and they have a bedtime as well. Every week also, you're going to be asked to take a step of accountability. This is going to be up to you. This is the moment where we uh, we call it the secret sauce. The moment where it becomes more than just talking about something or saying, you know what, that sounds like a good idea. This is the moment where you actually take a step of faith and you let the people in your group hold you accountable to the step that you said you're going to do. This is where everything changes. You know, the sweet spot that God wants us to live in is not something that's going to magically happen. It's something that we apply ourselves to and we walk into. This is going to be amazing. I'm proud of you. This is life in the sweet spot. Week two, you actually made it. You had the strength, you had the faith to come back and to keep going. You know, last week you were given an accountability step and that, that step, in case you forgot, was to journal, to start writing down your thoughts. There are multiple scriptures that talk to us about the importance of writing down what God may be saying, writing down the vision and making it plain. You know, you wouldn't even have the word of God if men weren't faithful to, to write it down. And so as we're learning how to find the sweet spot, it's important to, uh, to be accountable and to do exactly what we told the group that we would do. If you weren't able to do it, if, you, if you're not quite there, if you're not quite sure if you can do this, let me just tell you, you can. You can do this. Don't quit now. You can start this week. So welcome to week two. This is what we have for you in store this week. Uh, we've moved from uh, your, your first week in journaling. Second week, we're going to be dealing with anxiety. You know, uh, learning to replace our anxieties with the truth of God's word is critical in the life of every believer. Once again, it's easier said than done. All of us have things that we're worried about, things that we stress over, things that we freak out about, but learning to replace those thoughts with the truth of God's word is something that everybody that everybody says is easy until they actually have to do it. So this week we're gonna focus on finding the sweet spot in the middle of any of our circumstances that cause anxiety. We're gonna fight through the thoughts that worry us uh, by replacing them with truth from the word of God. So instead of just a, instead of just a positive thought, we're going to replace it with the truth of God's word. Here's our scripture for this week. This comes to us from Proverbs 12, 25, and it says, anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. So there's the dichotomy there between our anxieties that weigh us down and the truth of God's word that can bring gladness, that can bring joy, that can bring something so much better. And so my heart for you is to find the sweet spot in the middle of all the things that you have to worry about. You've got them, I got them. And instead of focusing on those things, we're gonna replace them with the truth of God's word. Here's your accountability step if you choose to accept it. You're gonna make a list of the things that make you feel anxious. You're gonna share those with the group. It's important that you name them. Like these things bring me a lot of anxiety. And by the way, trust the group. Choose to trust them. They're going to trust you with theirs. Uh, be respectful of the fact that just because you don't worry about those things doesn't mean it's not important for somebody else. Uh, share your anxieties with the group. Vocalize them. Say them out loud. And then you're going to find a scripture this week that deals with the very thing that you said I'm worried about. I promise you, anything you have to worry about, there's a scripture for that. And so when we learn how to find the scripture that deals with our anxieties, you're going to find the sweet spot in the middle of worry, anxiety, stress, and the things that freak everybody else out. You can find the sweet spot. It's found in the truth of God's word. Have an amazing week, group leaders. 